previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. world. <gasps> I marked that one down as Fire World. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! Nothing to say for yourself? Not to change the subject, but does anyone else smell something? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. <sighs> See? <sighs> This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ah. Petra. Where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Seems a bit flimsy. Petra, I promise you we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal, and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Don't even have anything to say in your defense? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! Tempers are running kind of hot. Maybe we should just all say we're sorry. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I th think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Oh, 
Maybe there's, I don't know, like a redstone city or something behind that mountain over that hill? Hey, it's a rare biome. That's pretty cool at least. Mesa biome. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh... <laughs> How you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Keep an eye out for the exit portal. I don't want to get stuck here if the worst happens. Ah, uh, you mean pumpkin face killers, surprise fire worlds, monsters? Yeah, any of that stuff. Who knows what this world has in store for us? Hmm, would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. But where could it lead? That is the question. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand. Clay. And more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah, there are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh, get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? So weird. Why isn't it on fire? Exactly what I was wondering. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. We should get a closer look, see what we can find out. Works for me. I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Okay. Yeah, that that doesn't seem right. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? Uh uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. I don't know, Petra. Maybe you've just lost a step. Do I seem any weaker to you? No. I just can't figure out how that zombie was so strong. Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Well, that was unexpected. They must be afraid of us. Yeah, guess we are pretty formidable types, aren't we? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! In my head! We've got to attack them before they kill us! Just get 
give it a minute. Let's see what they do. Uh, okay. Uh, what a terrible sound. Ugh, it's like I can finally hear myself think again. Be ready, guys. <gasps> what? They're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Lucas. These mobs might not be intentionally leading us anywhere. So if we're gonna follow them, we should be very, very careful. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Well, I guess this is the advanced civilization we were looking for. It's kind of what Petra was talking about. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Okay, well then just don't wake them up. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. What are you waiting for, Ivor? That thing's not gonna pry itself out. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Hmm, huh. I guess he's shy. Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular, mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. I'm gonna keep checking this place out. See ya. there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Ah! Who? The... What? Huh? So, did he stop being shy? Talk to you? Yeah, seemed like a pretty short conversation. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. There is something very, very wrong going on here. We need to help these people. But why? We could just find our exit portal. Leave this world behind us and pretend we never saw it. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. 
Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Just need to pocket these and get... Are you looking for something? Ah! That you? Pama? What? Okay then, okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird dressed little scrub like you. Come on then, out with it. Who's Pama? Ha! Huh. Like you seriously expect me to fall for that one? Must think I'm some sort of... Wait, you're serious? You don't know? Okay, eyes. Not red. Not red? But, but that must mean... But how? If there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh, what was your first clue? What was that name before? Uh, Pa Ma? This is my friend, Petra. Uh, hi. She kind of led us here. Really? Oh boy, you picked one doozy of a place. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. They're, uh, distinctive looking now. Okay, out with it. What's going on with these people? What's up with this town? I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people, I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Well, hello there. What a beautiful afternoon, right? I'm getting zero friendship vibes here. Lots of impending violence vibes. You are not from this place. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but we're definitely from here. Pama knows this to be untrue. Pama sees all. A decision has been made. Pama has questions. <laughs> You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? Why not go? We certainly won't get to the bottom of this if we stick around here. It's time to let these guys know what we're about. Stay back, all of you. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody. Too badly. Ouch! Watch uh, it! Uh, 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 uh. You will be made useful. <laughs> what? What happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No. Uh -oh. What is? What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking in a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Yeah, I'm guessing no on the friendly thing. Whatever it is, I think it's behind all this. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be fun if you choose to cooperate, that is. What do you want with me and my friends? I am what you might call a computer. A thinking machine. Designed to make things useful. I am going to help you be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town. Has helped them be useful. Coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity. No wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. 
a beautiful web of productivity and efficiency. Whoa, hang on. I've seen what you did to this town and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. Despite what you told these nice, nice townspeople, I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. Well, let's not talk about me. I'd rather hear about you. How did you get here? Answering a question with a question is unhelpful. Diversionary. Rude. So far, your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now, I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talk this out, you know. Mama, you better let her go, or I promise you will regret it. I will let this one, Petra, go as long as you can provide me with the information I require. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do, no more things or people to help, until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? If you are attempting to communicate telepathically, it is not working. If you are being stubborn and silent, then I am upset. <laughs> If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Help me to help you. I'll never help you. Not with the portals, and not with anything else. We couldn't help even if we wanted to! Honest! You will regret your decision. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! is looking a little dire, don't you think? Let my friends go, now! <gasps> Wouldn't you like to feel useful? It feels nice. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you've had. A killer mansion. Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Town and mountains eaten by a living storm. Olivia loves these things she calls logic puzzles, word problems and stuff. Really complicated. Oh! You've met so many people. Yeah! We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse! 
That's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox, a self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Alma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me suspicious. We were, uh, just talking about how I always promise to not keep my promises. Therefore, your promise to not keep your promise is false, which means that you do not keep your promises. It's working! Therefore, your promise to not keep your promises is true, which means that you will not keep your promise. Not keep your promises. Lord, this data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, ha! It worked! Nice work, new guys! But I'd get out of there fast if I were you! How much of a quicker learner than you think! Paradox status? On hold. Gasp! My creator! Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again! Come on, you two! This way! I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator! Stop calling me that! We should try and get Petra and Lucas. An excellent idea. It is time to join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! Jesse, now we just need to throw them in the right spot. As soon as they land. You're running makes me sad. Ah! Oh, why is that always so disorienting? Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing! Oh no! Run! Whoa! Oh. A signal would have been nice! Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding! That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. You watch that sass now. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Off the grid? Harper, in case you haven't noticed, there's no place to hide out here. Well, actually, there is. I'm gonna need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. <laughs> so strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. I don't think that's connected. 
Intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. <laughs> so strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. water we can aim for that it's like I'm showing everything it's got at us one after the other! Such wastefulness! Yeah, we have definitely landed on Palma's bad list, and I'm getting the impression that it's not the type to give up lightly. This kind of not giving up I can deal with. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself! <laughs> Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes! Their color changed as soon as it hit the water! Hey, hey, Ivor, I dare you to poke it. Uh, no thank you. Even though it does look completely shut down. Huh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> A zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. That should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palmas completely ruined the word useful for me now. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palmas chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world. But, considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt! Intriguing, Ivor? Why, whatever do you mean by that? I... what? It's nothing. I just mean that I can empathize when it comes to your creations getting out of hand. Nothing more. <clears throat> Careful with all that sputtering. You'll swallow your beard. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. It's not my favorite. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. 
Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Pama would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Whoa, you know about the hallway? <laughs> the hallway? That's what you've been calling it? <laughs> yes, maybe. What do you know about it anyway? A lot, I should think. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Pama? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Pama's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Pama couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Pama didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. So you're saying Pama is crazy then? No, crazy is a horrible way to put it. Pama's just very driven and a little confused. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Pama chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Pama would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. So what you're telling me is that your brain is super dangerous and can't go anywhere near Pama. How are you supposed to help us with any of this? I do think I can help you with, with Pama, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Need you help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow. What a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. So you know about Palma's weakness to water, then? Yeah, I do. I'll admit you figured it out way faster than I did, though. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh, no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time! And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. Get out of their heads, Palma. Your friends have been made useful. You too will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra. 
Please, you have to fight it. There! Uh, Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking over. To remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! There! And Lucas? Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Pama. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. Yes, what else can you remember? Sorry, I... I can't see it any clearer. It hurts too much to focus. Maybe it'll come back to me later. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? Harper was the one who saved us from getting chipped back there. Rescuing her is the least we can do to say thanks. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully free Lucas, too. Whoa! Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Hey, think about how long she's been alone. Nothing but this lab and mindless Pama people for company. I'd be a little odd too. Let's cut her a break, okay? I'd say that's a reasonable request. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Like I'm on the right track.
the Redstone Heart by Soren. Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or... <laughs> wow. These might come in handy. Awesome! Stone torch, and hopefully, one step closer to getting that headset. to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? I'm not sure what's happening. Well, don't strain yourself. I'm right next to a bunch of zombies. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. But this, this is just remarkable. Harper would have to explain the specifics, but I think... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. Really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. You traveled there instantly. I'm Harper's only shot at getting out of this with her brain intact. Let's hope she isn't too far away from this zombie you're controlling. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Sand stuff gets everywhere. Huh, let's see what I can craft.
Sweet. Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft and run, but I'm afraid I need to be going. Ivor, the signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do. Don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! I will create an exit portal. After that, everything will be useful. Get out of my head, Pama. Oh, Jesse. This could all be so much easier. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let's My go! My team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Yeah. I'm a skeleton now. Oof, poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse, what are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Pama's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Oh, sorry, buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper. Harper? Please, you are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Pama. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Not useful, my butt. Oh no. Time to move. Never fear, Jesse's here, and I'm gonna rescue you. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Running. Let's move! That's what I said! Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? 
the town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Central Core. Jesse, you and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the Redstone Heart! Remove the Redstone Heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'm so tired of being dragged away while trying to explain things! I'll be back to rescue you and take care of Palma. I promise. Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is on Jesse. I think we can make that pen set useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. But we can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Palma isn't gonna win. Not on my watch. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, that just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them, Redstone Spires, and, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's, that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect, thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires? Or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. Quick, hide. to this Palma core anyway. On the other side of all these mobs. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? Is that... Isn't that the flower that I had to give to Harry back in the lab? What? I thought maybe Harper might want it back. Or maybe I could keep it. Yeah, you can keep it. I can't think of any way for it to help us here. These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of swiftness. And a potion of leaping. These might come in handy. When is TNT not useful? Redstone dust can activate the TNT. Awesome! But how am I going to activate the redstone dust? Huh, sticks? Not sure how they're going to help us, though. We've 
got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom, path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities are endless. Well, not endless, but still, two very good possibilities. I'm gonna go for the potion of leaping. All right, all right. Don't jump all over me. Huh. With this, I don't even need the redstone or buttons. I can just drop the TNT on them from the sky. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff. before it can send its chip forces through it. I will find you, Jesse. I have lots of friends. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ivor, Petra, give me your buckets. Exactly. 
See what you Careful, got. Careful, Jesse. I hope you know what you're doing. You cannot win. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. Enough of this. Look out! severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now, because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. He's okay. Ow! Just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I am so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. Hey, apology's not necessary, okay? That was Pama, not you. Sorry about knocking you around, though. I don't know. I kind of remember it the other way around, actually. Bygones, right? It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous, too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. I think it's probably pretty safe. After all, it's just a power source. Jesse's right on the money. Now that the Redstone Heart isn't powering Pama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster the better. How can I be sure we can trust this thing? Could be dangerous. Jesse. Trust me, the Redstone Heart isn't dangerous. It isn't safe. It just is a neutral object. A neutral object that can get you home. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. 
We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. You're the one who saved us. Who are you? You fought so bravely. All of you. You guys are awesome! I don't know if we can ever thank you enough. Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone. Boom! We walk the worlds, seeking adventure and doing good deeds. Wow. Well, thank you. We owe you everything. You're right. Jesse and the Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um, yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You, you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Palma, too. We couldn't have done it without her. So what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No, I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah, she will? Yeah, right, Harper? Yes, yes I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home, again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Goodbye. Thank you, Jesse. See you soon, Harper. See you soon. You know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Hallway is still pretty creepy, but I'm just glad we're going home. I know, right? <laughs> I've been loving adventuring and learning things, but it would be nice to do it on our own world for a while. <laughs> now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. I know, I know. But I promise, just this one more thing, and then you'll be home. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? 
Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? 